Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Let's take the alternate path now. 3-B and see what awaits us in this secondary path level of all oh, this level. I don't really like this one very much, mainly because of my history with it. It's one of those sorts of levels where you have to trial and error your way into finding the pipes you need to get the coins in the level. It's... yeah, one of those sorts of things. By the way, I'm scared of my shell, so I'm just gonna do that. <laughs> that shell, it's it's been the bane of my existence. For too long. <laughs> okay, I think the, the pipe we have to go in is actually red, and it's soon after. Maybe it's that pipe down there? Hopefully? Okay. And you gotta go back a little bit. Well, not back. You gotta go through a new place here. Avoiding piranha plants. Let's pick our destiny here. How about... Oh, actually, it doesn't really matter what I, what I get, huh? I mean, I guess I could get star. Eh. Invulnerability! And you also get backflips and higher speed! Woohoo! There's better use for uh, stars than this area, but it's what I could really only pick there. Other than the shell, but I got rid of the shell for the reason, people. <laughs> And uh, you don't need the tiny mushroom too, so I didn't, that's why I didn't pick that. In fact, the tiny mushroom would probably be uh, uh, kind of a hindrance because of your super floaty jump, and you gotta ha gotta get yourself. Oh wait, 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 hold on. Uh, the hint to get to that coin is that cutoff pipe there. I should say the fitting of this pipe here. It shows that there's a spot that you can go above uh, to get the coin. Otherwise, you're gonna be like, oh, how do I wall kick up there? It's impossible. Well, it is pretty much impossible without going around the other way. <laughs> Um, I'm just sniping them. Yeah, I don't know which path I want to take. Oh, jeez! Not there. <laughs> oh, gotta go low. Down may be death, but we must brave it. Uh, upper path will lead to the most optimal way to get to the regular exit. <laughs> don't hurt me. Oh, no! Edge! Yeah. <clears throat> The edges in this game sometimes just do that, and it's like, Arr. just ruin my momentum. Ruin my vibe, man. <laughs> well, anyway, 3B is complete. Now we're going to open up another rather long, uh, I should say it's a rather long alternate path all the way to the castle. It leads to, uh, um, I mean, it leads from B to C and then the castle. So, anyway, 3C. For you and me. Wait a second. Oh no, oh no, Spike Bass, Spike Bass. This is like Spike Bass's homelands. It's where it works best because it keeps you, I mean, the level keeps you low by the water. So you've got to jump over Spike Bass as you're going along. Yep. <laughs> by the way, these fall, so be careful of that. It's, you can tell the difference between them because they're a little bit thinner than your typical platformer. Uh, platformer, platform, and yeah. I am playing a platformer though, in case you couldn't tell. It's a, more of like a side-scrolling style platformer though. Dang it, cheap cheeps! Everything's jumping out of the water at me. <laughs> Stop it! Stop it! Uh, where's the second star coin? I think it's under some blocks. Oh yeah, oh jeez. Have mercy! <laughs> Go over my head, please, okay. And this, hit that and run, 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 because you want to get the star. And run, run, run some more, because you'll get extra speed to make it to this pipe. Oh, shoot. Nah, you can make it in this pipe without those uh, coins turning the blocks, but it's a little bit more difficult to do so. And this leads over to the exit. Yeah, that pipe we seen uh, just a bit ago, that's where the exit is. By the way, those coins indicate that there is an invisible block there. Which means we now have our sort of kind of platform to ah, get to the top of the goal pole. This could take a few tries to get the momentum correct. Yeah! Got it! I was doing fist pumps, but you couldn't see it. <laughs> that went pretty well. And there we go, there's the path all the way to the castle. But first... 
gonna save our game. Well, no sound effect played as, as the coins got deducted from my coin stash. It's kind of weird. Oh, no! Didn't mean to do that. I got trigger happy. Anyway, after you beat a level, you can return to the map. So, it's not really that much of a diversion. <laughs> it's just just something that I made a mistake on and I was able to make a lemon lemonade out of lemons. <laughs> anyway, life house. Let's start. See if we can get even closer to 99. Or will we get Bowser instantly? Who knows? Who knows? Not bad though. Got five out of that. Wait, wait, what? what? Did I miss counts? Did I, did I miscount? Because I, I thought that it looked like there were six roaming, maybe because they were overlapping and stuff like that. Mm. But anyway, three dash castle. Let's start. So yeah, I wasn't even paying attention to my uh, uh, life counter down at the bottom right corner there, which is why I was like, hmm, how many lives did I really get? I'll have to look back at the footage and I'll be able to uh, know for sure. It's really easy to look uh, look into that in editing. So this is the Mega Spike Castle. I really love Mega Spikes, by the way. They can hurt you, they can squish you, they keep you in sort of awkward situations that are interesting, and yeah, you can't destroy them either. So, like, look at this right here. Look at this. You gotta get that coin, don't you? Hide? <laughs> now, as you see in a situation like this, it sort of kind of traps you, and if you are dealing with other enemies along with them, uh, you have tighter quarters to deal with them, and that's kind of what makes the Mega Spikes quite interesting. Oh, Womps! What do they do? they do is when you get close, they do that, and you can stand on their back. Eventually, they're going to pop themselves back up like that, but if you ground pound them, like Super Mario 64, you'll get coins! Yep! That's the way to kill a womp. And this is... See that coin up there? It looks like you, you're you gonna have to like do some wall kick shenanigans to get that. But no, 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 wait a second. Don't jump the gun here. What you wanna do is go up through here and over the ceiling. Wait for that womp to fall. Fall down on the coin. There you go. Safe. But third coin. Oh boy, is it ever a doozy. Come on, fall. 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 Thank you. <laughs> Dang. Mega Womps. Getting up in my grill. Um, yeah, don't trust the Mega Spike to stay down when you're going to go above it. By the way, those are donut blocks, and if you stay on them for too long, they're going to fall. It's not that big of a deal or anything like that, since you don't want to be on them for too long uh, when you're around Mega Spikes like that. But yeah, it's sort of like their introduction... Uh, to them for you because it's like oh you can tell that they're changing color as you're going above them and yeah Oh, no, 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 no help 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 oh, poopers <laughs> Mega spike all right. I got this power up because There's the coin <laughs> It might be a little bit easier to do this without taking a hit if you are a small Mario But the chances of you not taking a hit when trying to get this coin are pretty slim so yeah, wedge yourself in there by sliding, and then go, 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 go! Oh, I actually got it! <laughs> so you don't, they don't give you very much time to get up there and get the coin, especially since you're going against the flow of the Mega Spike, because, you know, it's, it's going to be moving towards you as you're going towards it, so there's less time than it looks. Anyway, World 3 boss, coming up. Are you ready? I hope you're ready. Behold, the Cheap Skipper, and it's got a bunch of Cheap Cheeps along to go with it. The easiest way to beat it is just to try and stay above it at, at all times, like just follow it around the room like that, and when it pops out of the water, um, you'll automatically hit it, because you'll be above it, yeah. <laughs> it's not a difficult boss by any means, but it's it might throw you off because of its awkward attack pattern, because of its angle, whoopsie. <laughs> Plus the other cheap cheeps are a factor as well. Eh, I win. <laughs> Give me that coin. Coin. Give me that key. <laughs> Whew. I had coins on the mind. And world world three is complete, as you see by that little indicator at the top of the level. 
Uh, right. At the bottom screen here, yep, yep, right there, right there, oh yeah, 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 yeah. So that means the first three worlds are now complete. Aren't they beautiful? They're beautiful. Alright, let's start world four now, the secret world that branched off from world two. 4-1. We are in the poison jungle. The level, um, I should say the worlds in the new Super Mario Brothers games, really don't change their theme all that much. <laughs> I mean, it's not, they aren't bad themes or anything like that, and there's new level designs each game, but, uh, it's still a thing of that they are, they are, <laughs> they have the um, virtual same theme each game. I mean, they do shuffle the worlds up a little bit uh, here and there, but otherwise, yeah. Uh, we got the... Uh, spiders from Super Mario 64 as well, like, mm, yeah, I forgot their names. Yeah, they're not Piters, that's, uh, um, <laughs> Paper Mario. A thousand Year Door. Mm, I don't remember, they're definitely not Skeeters. Yeah, I said the name in my Super Mario 64 walkthrough. Uh, maybe the name will come to me later. <laughs> Anyway, let's just go through the stage, and I'll probably end up putting a text box or something up that tells their name. But, uh, yeah, they're they're pretty easy enemies overall, because they're really, really predictable. In fact, I would even be against calling them enemies, since, <laughs> since they help you so much. Um, here's Dory here. If you ground pound it, it'll duck down and skim through the water a little bit faster. Um, use the spiders that I can't remember their names to get the coins! And now, right here, right here, we gotta split. Ah, oh, poopers. I wanna get up there, I wanna get up there! No! <laughs> that poison water is one hit kill, by the way. <laughs> I'm not too far away from where I was, because here's Dory right here. So it's not that big of a deal, but still! <laughs> I'm gonna do... This this time? Oh yeah, strategy. <laughs> oh jeez, that was bad strategy. Well, I should say bad timing. The strategy was uh, was a good plan, but uh, the timing was bad. <laughs> One more time from the top. <laughs> well, that's actually the halfway point. Come on, come on, go down, go down. Well, you know what? I can stay down here. It doesn't really matter. But I, I just want to be up there for the coin more than anything. That's why- oh shoot, I changed his direction. <laughs> well, looks like I'm doing it small. Anyway, I wanted to get up here- oh wait, wait, this isn't the- this isn't the spot where there's an invisible coin block? I thought- thought this was the stage that had it. Is it this? Is it this here? Or is it- oh shoot, 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 is it this up there? Where is- it's between two coins. Oh, there it is, okay. I just knew there was an, a, an invisible coin block and the coins indicate it. This leads to, of course, as you would expect, a secret exit! Yeah! Woo! Mario clear! That's so nice! Yes, indeed. Spaghetti! And that leads all the way around there to the lighthouse. But I'm not gonna do that now. I'm gonna finish off 4 1 here. And of course, we gotta start from the beginning. Don't give me a mini. Oh, more! <laughs> yes! Yes! <laughs> Don't fall in the poison water, it'll still one hit kill you. <laughs> and there we go. We're back to where Dory is. <laughs> Always fun to get a, a mega mushroom when you can use it in a way that doesn't destroy your path to coins, you know? <laughs> ah, yes. Oh, wait, 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 no, no, I'm not gonna risk it. I'm just gonna take a gentle route. I'm just gonna take the gentle scenic route. So you're not gonna take any risks. Just gonna, just gonna relax under the spiders who, for some reason, I can't think of their names. <laughs> but that's okay. They're just letting them live on their own, just relaxing on their webs. It's a good time for them. Good time for everyone here. Just nature watching here on the back of Dory. And we reach the end of our trip. And now we gotta be on the lookout for coin number three, which is actually really easy to get. It's oh no no! <laughs> it's underneath here. All you have to do is kill off the spiders first, and then run across the blocks like that. 
If you uh, didn't kill off the spiders first, you have to try and stop yourself, which is pretty difficult to do when you're dealing with um, uh, donut blocks. And I should have waited until that last spider next to the flagpole is a bit higher to get up to the top, but eh, well, you could tell how to get the one up off that flagpole anyway. And with that, I'm gonna go to Lighthouse. I mean, <laughs> Lifehouse, not Lighthouse. And now I'm gonna confuse the Lifehouses with windmills and Lifehouses with Lighthouses and nah, forget it. <laughs> yeah, I just wanna knock this off here, just to finish off the part here. Not too shabby. My luck on the life houses is doing pretty good. <laughs> and now with that, I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in the next part when we start 4-2. Don't forget to save!